The World Health Organization has officially declared the outbreak of the novel coronavirus, known as COVID-19, a pandemic. What began as a handful of cases in Wuhan, China, nearly two and a half months ago, has evolved into a global outbreak. With the virus spreading to over 100 countries, with over 100,000 cases and 4,000 deaths confirmed. But how far can the coronavirus spread? And how many people can actually get infected? It is spreading very rapidly because some countries are having trouble containing it. In countries where the response hasn't been as quick, they really pay the price. So you see that in Italy where the spread is really, it, it spreads very quickly and in a very widespread way. The lack of initial symptoms is playing a big role in the spread of the virus. I think the problem is that there are people that have no symptoms or minimal symptoms that um, are, are potentially, that are transmitting it to other people. Epidemiology professor Mark Lipsitch at Harvard University made headlines after he projected that 40 to 70 percent of the world's adult population could be affected by COVID-19. It's a projection, so we will find out if it's accurate as things go on. I think there's a reasonable chance that there will be public gatherings will be restricted. There's another factor there that we don't know, which is of the people who get infected, what proportion of them are going to get symptoms at all. If it really does spread as widely as that projection says, and that's what I think is likely to happen, then there are going to be millions of people dying, and I don't th think there's any way to get around that. There have been some patterns of viruses dying out in the summer due to warmer temperatures and seasonal changes in the atmosphere, but the coronavirus might not follow those patterns. It is more infectious than flu, so that means that it may be that the summer season doesn't damp it down as much as we hope. And the other thing is that when there's high levels of susceptibility in the population like we have for a new virus, sometimes the seasonality doesn't work the same way. Crowcroft says that so far the coronavirus has affected diverse age groups, but seniors, and especially ones with underlying illnesses, are the most at risk. At the other end of the age spectrum, children remain virtually untouched by the virus. There are many questions that remain unanswered as the COVID-19 pandemic unfolds. But for now, experts hope that as a global community, we can slow down the virus from spreading further by practicing good hygiene and following the country's travel recommendations. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.